Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Sagittarius's weekly love message for the upcoming week. If you're interested in a personal reading, the information on how to schedule is all linked below in the description box. I have 15 minute and 30 minute sessions available. For extended readings, for extra content, for more lives, head over to Patreon. Check us out over there. If you're interested in any of the events that I attend, guys, all of that information is on Instagram or Facebook. The social media links are all below. For our digital money bowl, click the money bowl donation link down in the description box. Be sure to add money bowl donation in the comment section. It's all through PayPal. And for the rules to tarot, again, social media links, the decks that I use, it's all linked below in the description box. So, Sagittarius. Let's dive in and see what we can see for your upcoming energy here for this week. Most important message here for Sagittarius spirit. What do my Sagittarian friends need to know? All right, Sagittarius, let me get this focused. So, Sagittarius, the energy that I see coming out here is there's a situation here between you and another person um, that's coming to an end. I feel like this is a very intense relationship, a very deep relationship. For a lot of you, this is a significant other. So with the Hierophant, this is like a long-term commitment. Maybe this is a marriage, okay? We have the Tower, the Mother of Cups with the Hierophant as the energy surrounding you this week. So again, something that's crumbling, something that's coming to an end, possibly with a water sign, doesn't necessarily have to be. The Hierophant is also Taurus energy, Taurasian energy. We're going to clarify all of this here in a moment. Sagittarius, I feel like intuitively you knew that this wasn't working or that this wasn't going to work long term, okay? And it's almost as if you're having a hard time having patience with this process, okay? I feel here there's also a lot going on in a lot of other areas of your life. We have the Ten of Stones and the Seven of Stones, this Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. So there's a lot going on maybe with work, with finances, with career, okay? This alchemy card right here, this is temperance, guys, okay? This is temperance in the um, traditional tarot deck. So part of the challenge is having patience and all of the other things that are going on in your life, okay? It's like one more stick in the fire, okay? Now, what I feel here is there is some deception, there is some confusion, and maybe this is some purpose confusion, okay, in the outcome. Page of Wands, Ten of Cups, Seven of Swords. So this is spirit cautioning you. Proceed with caution when it comes to a relationship with this particular person because there are things that are hidden here that you're not yet made aware of, okay? there, This person is definitely being deceptive, lying, sneaking around uh, behind your back. This could also be you having to sneak away from this particular person because of the situation. So let's clarify. If you find the messages helpful or resonating, please give it a thumbs up. We're going to start here with the Tower Energy, the Mother of Cups, which is the Queen of Cups, and the Hierophant for Sagittarius's energy. Please and thank you, Spirit. Okay. 
And maybe this is having to deal with ghosting. Maybe this person comes into your life with a vengeance and then puts their wall up. Okay. Maybe you're competing for this person's time, attention, and energy. A definitely four of cups, four of pentacles. This is like withholding, ignoring, okay, um, not communicating, not expressing how a person truly feels. We have the five of wands on the bottom of the deck. So this is like a competition, competing for this person's time, attention, energy. This is like chaos, um, a lot of disruption. So there is a reason why this is coming to an end. It's not just happening out of nowhere. I feel like this has been a long time coming. Again, Sagittarius, you knew that this wasn't working long term. Okay. Now, Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Temperance, Energy for part of the challenge here. Listen, thank you. So part of the challenge is having to compete for this person's time, attention, and energy. I also feel like there is an energy of not wanting to walk away. Like I don't wanna I don't wanna deal with this nonsense, but I don't wanna walk away from this person either. I don't wanna deal with this. Okay. But how do I make this work? It's part of the challenge. Okay, you're up in the air, you're back and forth, you're uncertain about what it is that you want. One day you're ready to move on, you want to walk away, and the next you're rethinking that decision. I honestly feel here there is a need to proceed with caution. Okay, and um, be honest with yourself about the situation. If this person comes back into your life, uh, trying to get back into your good graces, then, and you feel like maybe you want to try again, take it slow. Don't rush into things. Page of Pentacles. Don't rush it. Okay. In time, if this person is ready, that's going to come out. In time, if this person is being deceptive, what's done in the dark will always come to the light. Pull out a few cards for your advice, guidance, moving forward. Sagittarius, thank you guys again for all the love and support, for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. <laughs> this is, uh, the multiverse is the world energy, guys. Yes, 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 yes. So there's new things coming in, new things happening, okay? You're being called to get clear, okay? Because once these new opportunities present themselves, Sagittarius, things are going to move forward very swiftly, okay? So you need to get crystal clear on what you want your future to look like, what you want your future partner to be like, what you want your future in 5, 10, 15 years, your career, your love life, your home life, your friendships. All Everything needs to be planned out. The more clear we are on what we want our future to look like, the easier it is for us to align ourselves with that vision. It's also easier to see who is in alignment with that vision. I feel like you're headed in a positive direction when this when this person comes back around because I feel like they will come back around for sure. You're needing to stand your ground. The world energy, the lesson has been learned, the message has been received. It's time to move forward from all of this. It's time to grow up. It's time to move on. It's time to face the music, as they say in music. Um, it's time. Time to move forward. I feel like both of you are ready. One of you is holding on to this more than the other. Pull a for truth's message to sum up your reading. Thank you guys again for all the love and support.
For Truth's message, Sagittarius, coming out for your reading is be impeccable with your word. Seek to know the truth. When you hear an opinion and believe it, you make an agreement and it becomes part of your belief system. The only thing that can break that agreement is to make a new one based on truth. Only the truth has the power to set you free. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, Sagittarius, thank you guys again for all the love and support. Again, if you guys are interested in a personal reading, other social media links, decks that I use, it's all linked below in the description box. If you found the messages resonating and you're still here, give it a thumbs up emoji for message received. Thank you guys again, and I look forward to reading for you again soon. Namaste.